brought to you by GTA. We start with you. At least 33 firefighters with the Guam Fire Department are part of the first cohort taking courses to become a paramedic. The online program is a partnership with the Guam Community College, the Fire Department, and the Guam Department of Labor. GCC President Dr. Mary Okada says this is just the beginning. I will say that the arrangement that we have goes beyond just providing the first cohort for paramedics. It also helps to support the Guam Community College in setting up its own paramedic program so that long term that we can start to uh, you know, develop our own program, get accredited so that we can carry that going forward. Currently, the group is halfway through their 47-week course comprised of online instruction and clinicals. They're learning the life-saving skills such as administering an IV, intubation, and advanced airway management. Vicki LeMay is on island and is the director of clinic services for the School of EMS. It's all about the people of Guam, the patients that are ill or injured, having a better outcome, a better chance at, at recovering, fully recovering from whatever issue they're having. You know, if it's a, anytime you have a breathing issue, an oxygenation issue, you have minutes. And if the paramedics are there on scene to resolve that there, then they have, you know, a longer period of time um, to get to the doctor and then take it a step further. The initiative was made possible through $400,000 in funding from the Manpower Development Fund under the Guam Department of Labor. Here's DOL Director David Delasola. And this just goes to show that uh, the H-2 program that we administer and we collect the registration fees go directly to helping our people. According to Guam Governor Lulian Guerrero, it's her vision to have all medics to go through the course to become a nationally certified paramedic. This um, is a great, um, um, significant movement towards progress in advanced care out there in the field. And paramedics, as you saw, do more than just vital signs. They intubate, they uh, decompress, as you saw, <coughs> they stabilize uh, fractures, they uh, do IVs, they administer medications. So to me, it's like bringing the emergency room out into the field.